I wanted to share something that I've done with every single one of my sales teams forever. Uh, it's also been really good because I actually share this within our partner community as well. How many people in here love math? Yeah, me either. This is a massive acronym and it's one that I've used for the past 14 years to figure out exactly what's important in my life and where I want to go. So I would do the same thing with you because I think that it's been helpful for my teams. It's also helpful for a lot of our partners. Now, just like any terrible math equation, we're actually going to start from right to left. So the V, the V is where we're going to start. V stands for vision and most people in life don't have one right? They don't know where they're going because many times they end up places they don't want to be. Now, the first thing that you have to do is you have to actually start with a vision. Now, when you start with your vision, you're actually telling people where you want to go, but it also gives you a measuring point. What I mean by that is the most successful people in my life are full of great opportunities. Their whole life, they just have amazing opportunities coming across their desk. The most successful ones have been able to say no to a great opportunity. Meaning that, have you ever been down the road on a really great opportunity to be like, holy crap, how did I get here? It's because you had a great opportunity but not the right one. So understanding where you're going allows you to weigh it out and figure out exactly what, where you wanna be. Now, PBC stands for Positive Behavioral Change, okay? And that's a fancy way of saying doing the hard things. Now, doing the hard things means like, I don't know, uh, I tell my wife every single year that I'm going to lose some LBs. Now, what that means for me is getting up at five o'clock in the morning, which isn't going to happen, right? Now that's a hard thing. If I wanted to go to the gym at five o'clock in the morning, it means that I would be doing a positive behavioral change. That means that I would be making the hard choice. It's also like saying this, the five closest people in your life are a reflection of you as an individual. Now, some of you are like, oh crap, and you know you need to get rid of her, okay? This is not new, okay? This is, you need to get her out of your life, she's toxic. But listen, the five closest people also means that what happens if you have to get rid of one? What happens if it's your mom, your dad, and those people are telling you that you can't get here? What happens if, if in order to get here, you do have to lose some LBs? I don't know if you've ever been around anybody who's like an extreme sports person. First of all, they're annoying. They're like CrossFit people. But I'll tell you right now that they are motivated. And if they wanted to lose some weight, they would run barefoot through a wall to get there. So positive behavioral change means also a measuring stick. If you set your vision, but you're not willing to do the hard things, the vision's not good enough for you. G stands for goals. Goals are really important. We're terrible goal setters. We do one goal a year, one goal a year, and it's always right around January, and it's called a New Year's resolution. And we literally uh, are terrible at that. I, every year it's like, we're gonna stop eating chocolate. And then you say, I'm gonna go to the gym. Do you know when gym memberships go up? They go up every single January. Do you know when they dissipate? February 1st, okay? Because we set goals one time and we never look at them again. The trick to setting a great goal is to make sure you see it every single day, right? It means that you're writing it on a postcard, you're taking things like this. My wife around our house right now, I have dry erase markers and I write all over our mirrors, right? Like Goodwill hunting style. I literally every day get up and write, this is the goal that I have and I have to look through it, see myself and make sure that I see it every single day. My wife hates it, literally the worst thing. It's a nice mirror, perfectly good mirror and I write all over it and ruin it. Now, SK stands for skills and knowledge. Skills and knowledge is everything that you put inside of your brain. And many of us, that's not great. That's a binge Netflix. I just got the new whatever. I'm watching it until my brain falls apart, right? But if you're serious about where you're going, you're actually going to start putting things in your brain that help you get there. Uh, it's also not going to be what you think. Like skills and knowledge doesn't actually help you get where you need to be. And what I mean by that, if you go to Harvard or Cambridge, that doesn't mean you're going to be successful. In fact, I walk around the world and I meet a lot of really well-educated, unsuccessful people. All right, that's not the X factor. That's not what's going to make you successful. Skills and knowledge is also replaceable. Like how many of you right now at your house have a dirty glass of water that's kind of murky sitting in your sink? And don't act like I'm the only one. And the only way to get that clean, imagine if you just take the faucet and you turn it on and let water run inside of that cup. What happens to the cup? All of a sudden you start to see that murkiness go away and you get clear liquid right inside the glass. And what that means is that you can actually push in really good information and push the bad stuff out. You can literally start feeding your mind every day, putting down the funny papers and picking up the Wall Street Journal and starting getting to where you need to be toward your vision. And the serious folks do that. They go to conferences, they do the research, they read books actually read books. They don't just put it out on the airplane to make it look like they're reading. They really open those things and read them, okay? And then all these things from having a vision, know where you want to go, making the hard decisions, having goals, writing them down, and making sure you're putting the right things in your brain aren't enough. The X factor, the thing that actually has to go into 
all of these points is action. The A stands for action. The most successful people in the world, whether they have a good vision, they've changed everything, they've gotten rid of their friends, they write down their goals like Goodwill Hunting, and they just literally went to Harvard, all those things don't equal success. What equals success is people who walk and take a step and take action on all of these things. That is why people are successful. It's not new, it's not new information, but it's absolutely the reason why every person that you look up to and every person you follow on social media, it is the reason why they are where they are, and maybe you're not, is because they told themselves that they were going to take a step. And many of you right now, just like my sales teams, and just like the partners that we speak to every day, have a really great plan. None of them are taking any steps. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you and get off the couch, get on the horse and start making some of these hard decisions.